All right, for those of you trying to get better at chess, this series right here is the best laid out progression I've ever seen to train your ta chess tactics and chess calculation. Uh, it starts out from book 1A and 1B. So do those first, then it moves on to book 2, which is a yellow book. And then you got this book 3, and then it's, uh, there's a book 4, which is end game calculation, okay? This book 3 right now is like my level. Okay, so when I do these puzzles, I actually have to spend some time and they, they really push me to my limits. And this book claims that once you do 40 to 50 puzzles from each section, there's eight sections, uh, you'll be 2200 plus level calculation. Um, <clears throat> now, and I, and I take that seriously because anytime you have a Russian author, any kind of Russian curriculum, you know it's on point, okay? They don't mess around. They, they've tested these things. Like even this author who, who compiled these puzzles, he actually ran an actual chess academy that churned out many grandmasters and the top trainers in the world, like Chuchalov, you guys might not know these names, but yeah. Uh, so do the series. And the progression I've realized is when you start out with chess calculation, you need to know the patterns first. You need to drill them into your head. You need to see enough patterns first. And of course, some people will complain like, hey, why am I drilling all this stuff? Uh, whatever. But it's because we're not we're not computers. We're not chess computers. We don't just brute force calculate everything. We need heuristics or mental shortcuts. Uh, and the puzzles do get insanely hard to the point that they really challenge your mind. So this is just a phase that you have to get through, get those patterns down, drill that shit, okay? So book one, one A and one B, it's a blue book, one A, red book, one A, one B, I'll post it in the comments, maybe put a picture or whatever in this video. Get through that, that's chess tactics. And this is what I've realized, chess tactics is kind of the first level. I used to do hours and hours of chess, uh, chess tactics on online tactics trainers, like chess.com has a tactics trainer, leechess.org has a tactics trainer, chesstempo.com has a tactics trainer. I used to do hours and hours, but then I found I was just getting capped at a certain level where my calculation wasn't getting to the point of like a 2200 level player. And I, and I didn't know uh, what was wrong, right? And only recently, like I've come to this realization that then you ascend to something called combinations, okay? Because chess tactics tend to be very straightforward, linear answers where you're maybe only calculating one or two variations or lines or branches in your calculation. Uh, depending on how your opponent varies in their response. Uh, so that's book 1A and 1B, that's tactics. Then you need to progress to combinations. So book 2, if I, if I recall correctly, book 2, which is a yellow book, has very simple combinations. Um, and these are very, like, maybe three-move combinations or something but that, that teaches you that world of combinations. Uh, and then book 3 takes that the combinations and make them makes them even harder. And so, like I said, combinations have many branches uh, to calculate, many variations, uh, many even quiet moves sometimes to set up a tactic. But you cannot, it, you can't really solve combinations until you have chess tactics down, the patterns down. So that's why this progression is amazing. And one more thing is uh, why these books are far better than tactics trainers. This is another thing I've realized. Like, there's no comparison even. Tactics trainers just lump, just throw random puzzles at you, and they don't train any particular skills, whereas... A well set up curriculum, each each chapter, each section of puzzles will have a theme to it, or, or there's some reason why they're 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 given together to you, right? Um, for example, Algard's uh, Grandmaster Preparation Series. That's like the next level, like the highest level of calculation training. That series far beyond this. I was doing that for a bit. Um, each chapter will have a theme, like a uh, finding cool candidate moves is one chapter and you'll have you'll do like 60 puzzles in one chapter there um another theme another one will be comparison where you're compared whatever lots of different themes and the thing is when when they're when the themes are lumped together like that and you do them all in one sitting it kind of teach it puts your mind in that groove and trains your muscle your your memory like your your engrams whatever <laughs> i don't know what word i would use there but yeah uh, and then it makes it a part of you. Whereas if you just do random tactics trainers, no particular theme really registers with you uh, in a way. Like it's just, it's just a complete different uh, thing. And I've heard other chess masters talk about this too, that you want to uh, solve from compilations put together by good coaches where puzzles are given in themes so that they sink into your mind in a proper way. Okay, and there's other progressions too. Like, like I said, this will take you from zero about zero to like 2200 plus level calculation if you do the series for a five like 1a 1b and then goes up to book four which is the end game puzzles and then i'll recommend other series there are many uh, things that go beyond this for example the grandmaster preparation series by jacob agard that's like the top of the top like that is phenomenally hard <laughs> so you might do that after this 
Uh, there's other ones like there's the Encyclopedia of uh, of chess combinations made by a uh, chess informant. That's a big encyclopedia of combinations. Again, those puzzles are like beyond my level. <laughs> uh, so maybe I'll do that after this one. But that's also great for training your combinations. And there was a grandmaster I was just reading. He, he wrote something about mental hygiene. So these grandmasters have a practice where every single day they'll, they'll do some sort of puzzles. They'll do some puzzles. Uh, and of course, we're not grandmasters. We're not taking that seriously. But these grandmasters, I remember Kevin Spraggett in his blog, he was describing his training. He would do one hour of training combinations like these. And then one hour after that, where he would solve end game studies. And he would do that like every day, two hours a day. But that's his job. He's a grandmaster. That's his full-time job. Two hours of problem solving a day. Just to keep, you can't get, afford to get rusty if you're competing in top level tournaments like that. Of course, we're not professionals. So I don't think we necessarily need to take it to that level. But it is good to once just carve out some time in your life and get through one book at a time. Even if you take in breaks in between. But string together enough uh, days, let's say, where you work on something like this and, and put, finish it. Uh, whatever, I won't go too far. And so, yeah, just to recommend it, just take up this series, uh, get this series. I really highly recommend it. I'll post links to it. Thanks, guys.